welcome to the Mike from LA One Network here on YouTube and welcome back to my Disney reviews where the aw oh, crap well seems I have no other bit of a choice on this as this is the last review of the regular session which is Radiator Springs Racers let's go here and up wow I got fooled I thought that was a single rider line wrong we have a bit of a shorter wait us. Yeah, I got fooled there for a split second here. So this is the last review. Last re ride review of Cars Land. So let's get started here. As we're about to stop first on the under the rusty bridge. Which is a huge improvement over this line and the fast pass line. So here we are, we're underneath the rusty bridge. We can So, here we go, and this, as there you see the exit, which yes, I will be covering this in its entirety. Yes, I'll cover it and I'll sign off right here, because Unlike the other, other the unlike Vader's Junkyard Jamboree and Luigi's Fly Tires, the exit is a little different compared to the other rides here in Cars Land. And, uh, uh oh, this isn't good. The standby's moving better than we are. If the single rider line closed, if that's the case, I'm screwed. I'll be the first one out. And thus my summer schedule will go into September. But I do not want that to happen. And I do not want that. It's working because people are exiting. So, broken here, so. So now, a line will move. Yeah, you could tell this is a ride actually working because of those sound effects you are hearing right now. So, remember when I said that Luigi's has the longest queue line? Oh! Wait till you see Radiator Space Race's regular standby. Oh! You're gonna be so happy! As we now get. Okay. Oh wait, the hardest line is over there is the standby. This is the fast pass. So, and so right now as we approach the five minute point of this video, let's keep going. As the fast pass people are getting more royalty than us. Like Luigi's Flying Tires with you, this one is not moving. But Luigi's Flying Tires doesn't, they did not have an excuse to make a 54 minute video. This does! Uh, 
Thanks and uh, watch the play parade. Like right there, I don't know, right up there. It's there, so I'm back here. Near the end of the line. Oh, here we go, the line's going in the move on our side. Yay! Or is it on the fast pass line? Dude, yeah, it's the fast pass line. I'm gonna be so ticked. No, it's us. Shoo! So you get to see the actual, uh, the other outside of the shoe here. Uh, I like the other ride where it has barely, barely theming. Uh, Luigi has it. This, this ride actually shows the best in the theming because it's actually a race. So that means someone will win and that means someone will be losing. Unfortunately, I'm having a rough end of this because I have one win and four losses. So here's how the run's gonna work. If I avoid number eight, by the way, I'm an Oklahoma City Thunder fan. As if I win a race, a lucky YouTuber will win $25,000 and someone da na 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 da na 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 Hey, goodbye. That's how I say. If I lose a race, it'll be the if I lose, that'll be ten thousand dollars. And so far, oh, he missed a shot there. Now let's watch it again to see if we can actually get an actual return of the winners. Oh, well, we heard one, so that means the other one must be coming. We're going. Yeah, we saw a yellow one there. So there's a lot of colors to choose from. This came from the idea of test track. If you guys didn't see that review, I'm going to put that in an annotation. Excited. And oh, here we go. The single rider's line is starting to move. Yay, again. Well, that means we're finally going to get some outdoor shots this time. It draws darkness and redness and whites. Yeah. Yeah, let's end this time. Here we go, and here's the employee uniforms for this attraction. And here's the actual logo. I think that's the alternate logo and the science the primary, I guess. So. Here we are, we're actually on the outdoor version as we see the actual finish line of the race. Which people do expect. Now people do expect about this ride is that that this ride Many people do believe that this attraction took place after Cars 2 and they're actually right. Unless there's a Cars 3, they'll make a full circle. And also, these rides will cover two tributes. One by George, one for the late George Carlin, who voiced Fillmore in the original film, and Doc, who was voiced by the late Paul Newman. And the Paul Newman one will be silent. The George Carlin one will be, will be said out loud. That's uh, so right, now they're playing random music, which doesn't fit the radiator's great music closet. Here we go, and uh, as you can see, we got a good shot of the bridge, but we can't have a good enough on the video here. That's uh, so right, now the line continues to start moving. Wow, they're starting to get us on quickly. So this means we can get through the queue really quick. Quicker than this line is right now. As right now, as I right now, as also I got a message from Dark Side Phil Gaming. Listen, I hope your copyright strike does get resolved. 
because I don't want you to go away because you're one of my favorite gamers outside of sports games. Although I liked you doing the Madden 12 Superstar mode. And hopefully right now things will work really well here. As they right now will continue to get better and better. And right now can they... Can they stop playing the music? I'm gonna get copyrighted for this. And thus my 15 minute time limit will go away forever. I do not want that to happen. Here we go. Now it's a fast pass this turn to move up. As there you see the actual exit. The actual exit of the ride. As here we go, we are now moving. Oh come on! Another speaker there. That's rubbish. Hopefully we're gonna get it. Oh, vendors are coming, yay! The popcorn and drinks. Uh, Newsflash, Gear Deli's right there. Oh good, the single other one's moving, yay. So how much drinks do you have? Uh, okay. Oh, the... Oh! Best t-shirt ever! Uh, right now, as we get ready to go here, as Radiator Train Races continues to go here, as the single rider line begins to move, and we're finally at the outdoor queue of this attraction. As you can see, if you guys look back at the single rider line now, yeah, that's a pretty far away. And now, let's go inside this old wooden bridge. We're underneath the finish line. As we continue on with this ride, as we approach the more impressive parts of this queue. Okay, you probably see it. Yeah, the radiator. The radiator springs. And what's cool about this ride is that you get to you, you get to be ridden underneath under this bridge, and that is a lot of fun. Hopefully I get to start a run for this. Because right now, these right now are not looking good at this point right now though. No. Okay, right, now the fast passes get their chance to move. Then pretty soon, it'll be our turn. Because that was the pattern. Fast pass moves, single rider moves. Hopefully, but nothing gets more copyright. Oh, we're now moving, yay! So now we're at the actual ending of the line. As there you see the uh, actual ending of the line, where you see the actual find out who won. Hopefully, we don't suffer that same fate. Here as we now approach Stanley's Oasis. Home of the original Radiator Springs. Here as there you see there's a, a nice lamp on the turn here. So right now right now I'm looking good. This is the fastest this is the fastest this is not the second fastest I've been on this track. From second to last time I rode this, it took me half an hour to get on this thing. And that is unbelievable. Oh, quick, that's what it is already, if you want to see it. That's right now on the... It's another speaker! How about the little one near the entrance? As right now... As right now, things right now are looking good. And uh, now we are not moving at all. Oh, it looks like the uh, light green one. And there you see the finish line with the uh, obstruction of a light post. There we go. Much better. And yes, from what I understand, this ride looks totally different at night. As we approach 15 minutes here. 
something you will appreciate uh, before you understand. As right now, it continues to grow here. As a and look, an Oregon fan and an Arizona State fan. Wow, never thought I'll see that. As the singer right line now continues to make a speedy moving here. My God, I think this would be a. <coughs> Sorry, unless you want this one. Oh, the red, yay! As Right now the line is starting to move at a rapidly quick rate. And shout out to the people of the Channel Islands in Santa Barbara. Shout out. <laughs> As there you see the actual station which took place in an actual cave. Oh wait, no, that's the exit. An exit and Battle of the Oh, Battle of the Dodgers, yay! Yeah, I want to congratulate the new ownership of the Dodgers on pulling off one of the biggest blockbuster trades since Babe Ruth got traded to the Yankees. Yes, I am comparing it to that. The Dodgers got Adrian Gonzalez, Josh Beckett, Carl Crawford, and uh, Carlo Punto, if I'm correct on this. Well, the Red Sox get Josh Looney and a couple of draft picks. So, here we are. Uh, so you got a nice view of the landscape. Here as the Okay, how I'm going to make that bridge a little lower so we can see who won. Make it a photo finish, why don't you? I swear, it's worse than going to a lots of twilight. Okay, I had to make a twilight joke. I had to make a twilight joke. Wait, is that Edward back there? Okay, I think that might be a bit of a running joke right there. Look out here as we... See the uh, another exit where that guy walking. So here we go. As a always are her ways. So now we got a little bit of shade as the light blue card beat the red one there. Uh, actually, I didn't throw a coin in there because I'm white on coins. All I have is cash. <laughs> Well, good thing this is not the Jungle Cruise. They don't accept credit cards. They only accept cash. As right now, as we are in a nice steaming in here. Excellent. Oh, there's not a racing one. So I guess Disneyland was right when they say there's no link. Oh, there it is. Uh, where's the fun in that? I want to see someone race. What's the point? Hopefully today I can end my four race losing streak. Here as we continue moving on toward as the fast passers move. As it begins towards the single rider line. So this I like the fact it's an actual radiator. Nice theming there. And uh, someone's gonna make sense to block me in the way there. And right now, as we continue making our move, and is there another speaker? Seriously, where's another speaker? We're underneath the light bulb. Yay! And the sun's right there. Yeah. It's all darkness, then redness, then whiteness. As we approach 19 minutes into the video now, as you can see, we are nearly three, half, we're, all, we're more than halfway done with this line. Now the only way this will reach the Luigi's Flying Tires video, which is almost 55 minutes, <laughs> is if the ride breaks down. That's the only way this ride can, will surpass that. Uh, at this point right now, I hear they got it working again. I extremely doubt that it's going to break down here. So. If it does break down on me, and uh, I see another right stand there. So, no, no. Okay. Uh, here we go, as we get set to go. As we approach the 20 minute mark, which is really good at this point, because at the 20 minute point, the second to last time I did this, 
I was nearly on the ride. So that's right, we're seeing like a 10 minute ride here, folks. So, and you know what? I'm gonna make things a little more interesting. I'm gonna take out my cell phone, turn on the tools, and activate the stopwatch. There we go. Good as new. As we got that stop settled. Let's see if it can still on on that. Nope. I'll put it on stopwatch once we once I board. Because once it once it hits eight, if I get eight, which is really possible at this point, as it is possible, which I silly, which I probably will at this point. That's right now, as the single rider line is making a slow and steady process of moving here. Here we go. Now where is that other? Uh, is the other speaker the radiator? It's seriously, is that where the other ra vehicle is? Um, that does look very suggestive at all. Yeah, it doesn't really look that suggestive. And there is the old light. This will really spark out at night when I do this. We'll get to that later. As things right now are starting to cool down. Here as we uh, throw the umbrella. There as the light blue car to beat the uh, dark red car. As we approach that half an hour and someone is apparently trying to cut. That's pretty desperate if you want to get on a ride. You have to... That's pretty desperate if you want to get on the ride. Look how many of the coins landed on the top. That's really impressive. As we begin to make our move up and hopefully get away from other speakers. We're gonna stop. Right. Okay, we're gonna stop as we're getting away from the other speaker. That right now continues here. See, that's the rest of it. Right there. As yes, like California screaming a Splash Mountain and Space Mountain, this ride actually takes your picture. But you're going to find out once we get to that point. Oh, you're going to be so happy. That's right now as we are approaching the... Uh, okay, all we gotta do once we reach this point is keep, swir keep curving. You go up the ramp, curve, go up, curve, and then you're close to getting on the ride. As you can see, look at that. Look at this. Well, this ride doesn't mess around with the standby line. It's humongous. I think it's bigger than Luigi's Flying Times. No, I think it may be way bigger. They knew the crowds would be humongous. So they made a huge line. So at least they, they had, this ride has an excuse. But Luigi's doesn't. And here we go. We're nearly done. Let's go. 
after you approach the actual queue of the ride, and there you see the main station here. <coughs> I swear, is there another? Okay, where is that speaker? Luckily, this should be done soon. And look at that! That line is horrendous! Well, at least the, the vendors are going to be very happy about having this line. They're making lots of money. Oh, that's probably... Yeah. As we approach the uh, half hour mark here, and we are almost there. Good here, so the line's gonna move up drastically. As we begin our final ascent to up, as you will, I will. Look it up to this ramp, then we have another ramp, and then we're on the ride. Wait. Shaboom. Okay, I'm not going to sing that whole song. Because it doesn't work as, as, a, as a single person would. As right now, as we are closing in on... And here's, here we go, as we begin our final ascent. Descent down, and there you see a Dodgers backpack back there. Yay. And if that isn't enough, you have to go this way and then make the turn. So we're getting easy. We're getting a luxury not standing in this line. So I hope uh, Roman Angel Hernandez will watch this and make sure that the single rider line is a blessing in disguise. You don't have to wait in those like 100, 120 minute waits or 720 on opening day. But I was there for that and I said, you know what, I'm taking the single rider line. And so far it is working. For me here, Now I'm on the second ramp. mentioned here. Seven and eight are rarely mentioned.
Oh, good. We're starting to move up here. Wow, we got a nice view. We get a nice view of the entire queue, which is humongous compared to the single rider line. And uh, oh, gotta do this again. Quack, 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 go ducks! Yes. And hopefully Oregon can stop switching uniforms. I swear, they're worse than Seattle. But, uh, but at least the Seattle, it doesn't work. Oregon works. Seattle does not. The Seahawks does not. Half hour. Oh, they got 31 minutes. <coughs> hey, look, back over 2010. After a moment, as we make our Final ascent up the single rider step, and I am so sorry. After all, we have a lot to do. You know, I think a lot of these people could be the town drunk. We have a lot to choose from. It could be any of these people. Here we go. Oh boy. That's what happens when you don't pay attention. You're gonna lose your spot in line. Let's look at that. There's these little ride the vehicles, which we're gonna see them close up in a minute. As we are approaching the final ramp. Thank God. This is horrendous. But there's one tiny flaw, but we'll explain that once I get on board. Wow, talk about ripping off Lightning McQueen. The uniform, red and yellow. But there's one thing he has, but he doesn't. Check a flag. Here they go. Has. Yeah, there's eight. And eight, so if I get eight, that's bad. But it looks like I may get it. As we get ready to go. test track. If you guys haven't reached it again, again it will be on annotation right there. Right here. Oh, the video will be widescreener than this on the camera as of right now. Are you serious? The whole mountain is a speaker. Oh my god, I'm so getting copyrighted for this. Oh! Nah, 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 nah. Thank 
god! Someone else is getting inked. Out of the hill. I guess I gotta take the back. Well, wait a minute. Oh, I got red. Okay, I guess I could change it up, but no, I didn't. You know what, I'm gonna change it up. I'm gonna change it up. Since I got eight, if I get the Ramon car purple, I'll switch it to a ride redemption then. So that's who will go on. If I get this one, that's bad. That will end the run right there. And look, it actually looks, looks like a car character. Good. Now, just like Test Track, I'm going to change this up. If, okay, I already talked about it. If I get a purple, the run's over. But here's a serious flaw. Where's the bags? There isn't any. There's not any. There's no bags at all. Seriously, what a, what a joke. So, all right, so I get a, get a dark blue one. So the run's, right. gonna, the run's gonna start it. Here we go. Yeah, sure. Hey, ride's over, time to get out. Oh, no, no, we're done. Yes, they don't need it. Sounds like that guy from Stanford is like the news. So I got Dodger Blue, and we are gonna a run's gonna happen for Radiator Springs Racers. But the big question is, am I gonna win? Either way, everyone on YouTube wins because they get money. Either way, and here we go. Oh wait, we got a seatbelt check first. Okay, on the bright side, at least we got ready to go. Let's hug on the yellow tab, be right there by your buckles there, please. Here we go, hopefully we win. Okay, and now let's get started. Wait, what? What? This is not what I expected at all. Okay, this ride's gonna be terrible. This is not what I expect at all. Okay. Oh, I see what they're trying to do. Amazing first drop. Here we go. Oh! Hey, look, those are two cars. Don't ask for directions. Sparkplug, hippie. 
now. Say the seven words you can't say on TV. Oh, come on. Yeah, the road is lead. Speed and style. Luigi, give our friend your best. Okay, I always get Luigi. Come on, I ought to go on the remote. to the Zach Van 18. on the ride. So now I am, I'm sad to say, I am one win and five losses. But eventually I'll stop get out of this losing streak. The purple car beat us. I guess we have to get out. I go. Whoa! I got. I got. Oh no, it's stuck. Okay. There we go. There we go. Uh, all right, so I guess there's nothing else for me to do except show you the exit. And let me tell you, it's way different. Uh, eventually, I'll snap the losing streak in a row. I think we're in Luigi. That, I swear, I, realized, I wrote this ride six times and yet I never got a Louis. I never get Ramon. Alright guys, this should just about do it for my Cartastic Summer. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys.